our distance learning, the Arroyo Verde teachers have been working very hard to create fun and engaging lessons. Our student highlights this week are two students who have done a great job keeping up with their distance learning. Our student highlights this week are Alexis and Matthew Miller. They have been making great efforts to keep up with their daily schedules while they are staying safe at home. Both of them have been adapting very well to having school at home. Alexis is on a competitive dance team and practices about 16 hours a week. She also helps her family by cooking dinner. Matthew is more than halfway to his black belt in karate. He also helps take care of the animals at his house. They have three dogs and two cats. Thank you, Alexis and Matthew, for letting us see how you've been keeping busy during this unique time. This week's activity is to write a kind note or message to a friend. You can send that note in the mail or even ask an adult to take a picture of it and text it to your friends. Or you can just send a simple text message or an email. The important thing is that you talk to the adults in your home and find out what's the best way for you to reach out to your friend to write them that kind note. So here's my example of a card I made for my friend since I haven't been able to see her in a long time. It's got some artwork I made and my kind note is inside. So when we help others feel happy and we do something nice for them, it actually helps us feel really good inside. So go ahead and give it a try to spread some kindness to your friends this week. Every year, the fifth grade teachers of Arroyo Verde choose one student as the avid standout student. This student is honored at a big award ceremony. Unfortunately, the ceremony had to be canceled this year. And so we are going to honor that student now. The fifth grade avid standout student for Arroyo Verde is Julian Sesania. Julian completes all of his work on time. He is organized, hardworking, helpful, determined, and he sets goals and works to achieve them. Congratulations, Julian. We are very, very proud of you. And now here is one of our fifth grade teachers with a special message. To my fifth graders, I miss you so, so much. You have been absolutely and completely amazing during this whole distance learning thing. You have been positive and you have helped each other. I love seeing your faces every Mondays and Wednesdays and any other bonus times that we get to meet together. They've been my favorite parts of the week. I can't believe that you guys are moving to middle school. Whoa! You're gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing experience for you. You are all wonderful humans. You are going to um, have great experiences, have some amazing teachers, and do wonderful things, I have no doubt. Now, our school year ended rather shortly. It's been um, kind of sad, trust me. I miss you guys every single day. But we have filled that short time with so many great memories. We had Zombie Day. Hello, that was my favorite. Zombie Day was amazing on our Halloween. We were doctors in training. We had our hospital day, which was pretty amazing. We had um, a sweet shop in our classroom where you worked on some pretty challenging math and science problems. We baked cookies in our classroom, for goodness sake. Wow, cookie chemistry during the December month. That was pretty cool. I've never done that before with any other class. We read some pretty great books. I don't think there was any one book that I would not read again that I read with you guys. We did some outdoor activities that we were able to take our learning outside and that was fun and different to be able to get out of our classrooms. Every single one of those memories, I hold really close to my heart. You guys are amazing. I wish you all the best in middle school. You wanna come find me, you know where I'm at, you know my email, and you guys will be amazing. I love you guys all. That's it for this week, Arroyo. Until next week, stay safe and healthy.